This is Sony's Game Changer microphone, and I know I use the phrase Game Changer a lot around here, but this microphone is honestly about to set a standard. This is Sony's latest ECM M1 microphone. It's a compact shotgun microphone with eight audio recording modes, making it the most versatile mic for creators. And now let's just get straight into it and let me go outside and show you why. All right, let's start with the first one. This one's the ultra directional mode. So this one's gonna capture what's exactly directly in front of the camera or the mic. So if I stand here or over here, the mic isn't gonna pick it up as good as if I was right in a field of view or field of sound. And this mode is really good for stuff like this where it's just me talking to the camera front and center. And I know that the subject is gonna be directly in front of the camera, so not around here. Or here or over here, as you can tell. It's not gonna pick up the sound as much. And now this next one is super directional. So it's still focused to one direction, but it's a little bit wider. So it's still focused to what's exactly directly in front of the mic, but it is a little bit wider. So if I'm here to the left and to the right, it's gonna pick that up, whereas the ultra directional, it couldn't do before. Now, this is perfect for things where you're shooting a group of people, so you've got friends to either side of you, or if you kind of want to grab a little bit more ambience around the subject. And now the next one is unidirectional. So if you guessed it, it's still pointed into one direction, but now it's even wider. So I can go around here and it's still gonna pick up the sound and here as well, and it's still gonna pick up the sound. Whereas before, as you can tell, it was much thinner, smaller field of sound. If that makes sense, because that makes sense to me. But yeah, so this again is gonna be useful for larger groups of people, or yeah, if you just want a little bit more ambiance, a bit more natural sounding, because maybe you don't want just the person's voice being the main focus of the subject. And this is typically what most shotgun mics are like. They're unidirectional mics. They're gonna capture what's exactly in front of the camera. And like the other two, it's only gonna capture what's in front of the camera. So if I go to the back of the camera or the mic, you're not really gonna hear much sound from it. Which brings us to the next one, which is the omnidirectional mode. This is what most mics are like. It's capturing sound from 360 degrees from all different angles. And yeah, so if I'm gonna walk around, you can still hear my voice and you can still hear everything. Again, 360 degree camera. So it's gonna be useful if I wanna vlog and capture the people in front of me and me behind the camera. So this is gonna be useful if I wanna capture everything. So it sounds front to the side to the back of the camera. That's pretty much what the omnidirectional mode is. Which brings us to the next awesome setting, which is the super directional mode, but this time from behind the camera. And as you can see, I'm behind the camera and you can hear my voice clearly, but if I go into front of the camera, it's not gonna pick up my voice as well as what the back camera is, because now I've switched that super directional mode to the rear. So this is gonna be useful if I'm filming a subject, but I don't necessarily want the sound and I want more of my narrative behind the camera to be the main focus of what I'm capturing. Which brings me to the next feature where you want to capture both front and back of the camera, but not anything to the side. So now this is a super directional mic, but front and rear. So if I'm to the side of the camera, it's not going to capture it as well as if I was to the rear or to the front of the camera. Now this is amazing because for stuff like documentaries where you're going to want to capture what you're saying behind the camera as well as the subject that you're recording. But yeah, like this stuff is amazing and I've never really seen this done on a mic before. And then Sony takes it up another notch where it's pretty much the same setting as before, but this time the front and the rear are on separate channels. So the front is on one channel and the back is on another channel. So this way I can kind of focus on what sound I want at certain parts when I'm editing. So this is useful for when, let's say I ask a question and the person in front is interrupting me. I can kind of just pretty much take away their sound and use my sound and then just put them back in once I finish answering my question. So this is cool. Again, you can hear this and left. And now this one on the right side, like, come on, man. Which then brings us to the last setting, which is the stereo mode. So this can give you a more immersive experience. So it's gonna really capture a 360 degree sound. So if I'm to the left of the camera, your headphones gonna hear what's on the left side. And if I'm to the right, it's gonna be on the right ear. And if I'm front, it's gonna sound like I'm in front of you. And the same if I'm on the back. Now this is also for stuff that has surround sound, so it's really going to be a really immersive experience with this stereo sound of the mic. And yeah, that's the quick test outside. Let's go back in. And as you just saw and heard, I practically got eight microphones with this one mic, which is amazing, especially for this small form factor. Along with the new modes, this mic is so well designed and packed into this small body. It also comes with a windscreen for use outdoors and the mode dial has a button to lock the setting so you're not accidentally switching modes. This is a well thought out microphone. And aside from the new eight recording modes, this also has the microphone settings that you'd expect, such as noise cancellation and low pass filter toggles and audio level dials.
This also uses the digital audio interface which you can use with Sony cameras, but you do still have the option of using an analog signal via cable. Now my favorite mode is that super directional front and rear mode, especially when the sound is on separate channels. It's actually amazing how this microphone is able to capture sound accurately from certain directions because I totally did not know that that was possible as you can hear. It's honestly amazing. For me, another main selling point of this microphone is just how compact it is, but still being able to capture great quality sound. Comparing it to my previous ECM-1BM microphone, it's almost half the size but with triple the features, which makes it even more worth it for me as a solo shooter. Another neat feature of this mic is the backup safety recording, so if you switch to the 4 channel mode on a camera, channels 3 or 4 become 2 safety tracks, each with different sound levels. So if you do find that the mode you selected wasn't working, then you can easily switch to an omnidirectional safety track which captures sound from all directions, which is going to be a lifesaver just like this following clip. And now this one on the right side. Like, come on, man. And now this one on the right side. Like, come on, man. With a microphone being this fully featured and of this size, it's definitely the most efficient even when it comes to cost and space. With its eight modes, it practically becomes eight different types of microphones, which you'd previously have to buy separate ones. The ECM 1M is definitely now my go to recommendation for creatives. Just to finish things off, thank you to Sony for sending this over and let me try it because I'm definitely going to purchase this real soon. I just know soon this is going to be on top of a lot of people's lists also just because it's only a matter of time until people find out that this is the best consumer microphone for a lot of creators right now.